A total of 575 tests have been conducted nationally as of May 7, 2020. St. Lucia has recorded a total of 18 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Two additional cases have recovered, bringing to 17 the number of cases that have fully recovered and have been reintegrated into their communities. We now have one active case currently in hospital care, and this individual is recovering well. On Friday, May 8, 2020, the Department of Health and Wellness will receive 219 St. Lucians who are cruise ship workers on the Carnival Glory and the Caribbean Princess. These passengers will be received and placed into quarantine for a period of 14 days as per the country's established protocol. Quarantine is necessary for persons who are well, with no symptoms of ill health, but who may have been exposed to a communicable disease. It restricts the movement of healthy people who may develop a disease after possible exposure to an infectious agent. In this context, this agent can be the COVID-19. Quarantine requires people to remain in a designated location for a specific period of time. Active monitoring by healthcare specialists, including temperature checks and assessments for respiratory symptoms, are done routinely for the entire quarantine period. As part of the national COVID-19 response, quarantine centers have been set up in St. Lucia using various hotels to facilitate the large numbers of returning nationals through the repatriation process, as well as any non-nationals that may arrive in country. Institutional quarantine remains the standard for St. Lucia. However, in some cases, based on assessments, home quarantine is also facilitated. Isolation, on the other hand, is necessary for people who are sick, and it allows for the separation of people who are sick from those who are well. It restricts the movement of people with an infectious disease to stop the spread of illness. It also allows for the appropriate treatment in a healthcare type setting. According to the Quarantine Act, Chapter 11.16, the Quarantine Authority is the Chief Medical Officer. The Quarantine Authority has the power to decide and govern the quarantine facilities and indicate the persons or things that are detained for observation or isolation. When any place is in use for isolation purposes, a person may not enter or leave except with the general or specific permission of the Quarantine Authority. Under this Act, the police officers have the duty to enforce compliance. It also states that they may arrest without a warrant any person whom he or she has reasonable cause to believe or have committed any offense. International travel has been restricted from March 24, 2020. Under the statutory instrument number 43 of 2020, for the purposes of preventing, controlling, and suppressing the spread of COVID-19, this restriction does not apply to outgoing flights or outgoing ships, cargo or cargo ships, commercial courier flights, emergency medical flights, and emergency flights approved by the Civil Aviation Authority. The instrument allows for exceptions with the written approval by the competent authority. During this period, exceptions have been made in the case of returning nationals from Martinique, for example, prisoners to be repatriated for medical and other urgent reasons, and in the case of the cruise workers who are coming tomorrow. The Ministry of External Affairs is working with ambassadors to facilitate the safe return of nationals. This, however, is done ensuring that the quarantine capacity is maintained. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we once again ask the public to work with us to reduce the impact of COVID-19. Persons coming in to abide by the quarantine protocols. We ask that their relatives support their loved ones in quarantine by encouraging the adherence to the requirements of quarantine. On another note, if you are aware of anyone coming in by unofficial means, do alert the authorities. If you are placed in quarantine, please stay there. These measures are to keep all of us safe. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.